hey guys this crypto moon she does it all a little bit of everything i am going to give you the latest on the cpi in the fomc meeting i know you guys have heard it from every other youtubers yesterday on what was going on i'm just gonna briefly give you the latest on how things went down and why the crypto market is so down right now it's a cpi report u.s inflation is coming back down to earth which at the time when we heard that it was good news and thinking the following day when we had the fomc meeting things was gonna go really good for the crypto market because crypto market like good news on what's going on in the um financial institution how things going how we doing if everything working fine crypto market love it spiking up but then after the whole report on the fomc meeting everything tanking down um bitcoin thinking down below twenty five thousand. we're like hey what's going on it's supposed to go up not go down but i'll let you know why it went down so i'm not gonna go through the whole thing i'm just gonna read the first paragraph to you guys it says u.s inflation is leaving those sky high days behind consumer price in may rose at the lowest annual pace since march 2021 according to data released tuesday by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, <clears throat> the Consumer Price Index, a key inflation gauge that measures price changes for a basket of goods and services, increased by 4% for the year ending in May. That represents a sharp pullback from April 4.9 and is slightly below economists expectation for a 4.1 gain according to refining refinitive that on a monthly basis price ticket up 0.1 percent economists were expecting price to increase by 0.2 percent from april to may okay so let's see here it's the 11th consecutive month that inflation has slowed and it's a welcome reprieve from the painful shock of persistently high inflation endured during the past two years. This time last year, the CPI print was more than double at 8.6%. So I'm going to leave it right there on the CPI report. It's supposed to be good news. We all were happy about it. But then when the FOMC meeting came, everybody the day before was saying okay they're gonna be a pause it's not gonna go another hike it's gonna take a break which is exactly what happened but when all these reporters were asking questions i feel like those questions sometimes are unnecessary because when joe pound respond to those questions that give the uncertainty that give the doubt that give the fear and that's why the market was not sure what was going to happen. There was a pause. Yay, everybody happy. Ooh, we love it. Okay, now nah, leave it alone. But all those questions end up with, okay, we're going to have two height weights towards the end of the year. That kind of bring all, all the happiness, all the hikes went down because, wait, you say, okay, we're taking a break right now, but they're going to be two big hikes towards the end of the year what are you doing why so much confusion it was too much to handle okay let me go with the first paragraph on the fomc meeting also together we're gonna combine in and then at the end you get your own conclusion out of i'm sure you all have heard it from different youtubers this is my part in conclusion and why the crypto market went down us fomc meeting outcome federal reserve chairman john power let Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, voted Wednesday to pause its aggressive campaign of interest rate hikes despite elevated inflation, while indicating that another sharp increase could be needed before year end. This is the thing. Why are you giving us a break and you're talking about what can happen in the future? That is confusing. That is heartbreaking and the market heard that and it just fall apart 
After 10 straight increase since March 2022, the Fed's rate setting committee voted to hold its benchmark leading rate between 5.0% and 5.25%. The central bank said in a statement, holding interest rates steady give policymakers on the FOMC meeting time to assess additional information and its implications for monetary policy, the Fed said. Hmm. Okay. The U.S. central bank began its two-day policy meeting on June 13th to see to set its benchmark lending rate amid cooling inflation in the world's largest economy. The FOMC, consisting of 12 members, will announce its decision on interest rate on June 14th. The Fed has raised, raised interest rate 10 times since March 2022 as it grapples with inflation which still remain well above its long-term target of two percent good okay again cpi report was given everything seems to be good it seems like the job report was doing amazing also when it comes to fomc okay there was a pause yay amazing but then the uncertainty then the doubt the fear of what may happen in the future kind of bring everything down so at the end of the day if you're gonna be firm and i heard a lot of uh mick kevin say he did not look like himself it looked like somebody forced him to say something forced him to pause forced him to give us a break because it seems like he was gonna give another hike he was gonna raise it but for some reason they forced him to give us a break and because of that, he was not himself. Usually he's smiling, he's talkative, he's uh, all over the place trying to give you the right information. And when the market see that kind of sure assurance, that sureness of, okay, things going to be okay, things going to head in the right direction, the market loves, and you know, certainty. It loves to see that we are sure something good is coming. But the fact that, John Power did not have that assurance. I don't know, did not have that firm things gonna be okay. That's why the stock market and the crypto market plunges down. And uh, until right now, it's still on red. So hopefully things pick up later. Again, that was my version of CPI and FOMC meeting. Hopefully you guys understand what's going on. Again, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. May God bless you. Subscribe. Bye-bye.